Hey you guys, my name is Andy, a New Zealander living here in Shanghai, China. Now you may not know this, but this year the Chinese people are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Communist Party of China. Now I'm no communist myself, but I do think it's important to learn the history of a party that's governing nearly one-fifth of the world's population. I live in Shanghai's Jing'an district, an area brimming with important CPC sites within walking distance from my apartment. Some are obvious, and some you'd stroll past without even realizing. Today I'll take you to visit three such places, including Chairman Mao's old house, and a bridge that was once stained red with the blood of PLA soldiers during a decisive battle. First up is Shanghai's General Post Office building, built in 1924 and once the crown jewel of China's postal system, and the Sichuan Road Bridge out front. Well, you may not realize it if you were just walking past, but this post office building in front of me and the bridge I'm on now were the site of an intense battle back in May 1949 between the KMT and the People's Liberation Army. This four-story building was considered a high-rise back in the day, so KMT forces used it as their stronghold. PLA soldiers closed in on the remaining KMT fighters from the south side of the Sudo Creek. But because of its 40-metre width, they needed to cross here. You can see from the rooftop how PLA soldiers were in the direct line of fire, and the bridge was said to have been stained red with the blood of martyrs. The fight was ultimately won though by the PLA and the KMT fled. The battle for the liberation of Shanghai was over. Just a short walk from the post office is the Huangpu Theatre, which opened in 1934. It's an iconic mix of Eastern and Western architectural styles, designed by three Chinese architects who studied in the USA. It's also the birthplace of China's national anthem. Let's go inside and take a look. In 1935, a year after this theatre opened, a film called Children of the Clouds had its premiere here. The theatre's manager, Yu Fei, agreed to show me around. When walking the streets of Shanghai, you often need to pay close attention if you want to soak up all the history. One such place is here at number 120 Maoming Road. It doesn't look like it from here, but in 1924, this was the home of Chairman Mao Zedong. Mao lived here in 1924, just three years after the birth of the CPC. Inside, you can visit his old office and bedroom and check out many artifacts and historical items. Well, one of my favorite pieces here would have to be this chair that Mao Zedong used in the past. I'm so close that I feel like I can almost touch history. This is Chen Shaodi. She's 24 and has worked here as a guide for about a year. Mozadong,去领导秋收起,直到一九三零年,杨开会西生,两人在位相见过。比如说,强上的这份文摘,写于一九三零年的一月,距离杨开会西生,只有十个月的时间。字里行间表达了他对毛泽东深深的爱恋
That's why I think it's so important to learn about this history and try to create a world of mutual understanding. See you guys next time.